Good day folks, welcome to the channel. If you have a need for a shop on your Facebook account, I'm gonna show you how to create one and I'm gonna go through all the details that you need to know to make it a good shop. So, let's get into it. So we're in our Facebook page here and you've gotta make sure that you're on your personal profile and you've also gotta make sure that you have a Facebook page, all right? so. If you have all of this in order, you can go ahead on your left hand side, you'll see your menu and you want to go and tap on see more and you will find your ads manager. Alternatively, you can click on your profile picture on the top right hand side and you'll be able to access your um, Facebook ads manager from here just by clicking on your profile name over there. It'll take you to some more options. So we're going to go into the Facebook ads manager right over here. And once we're in this page, you'll be able to select the management account that you are wanting to create your shop with. So um, you're going to go from the top and you're going to choose the correct ads account okay so i've got this ads account and here we're going to go and look at all tools on the left hand side and here you can see right at the top it says commerce manager you want to click on that now this will take us to our commerce manager this is the meta business suit and you can see over here i have this screen now Having a shop is not available in this region, but there is another way to do this where you can actually have a shop. So you're gonna go down and look for the ad catalog. So you're just gonna tap on this ad catalog and you're gonna be adding a catalog to your page. You can now see that you want to tap on the e-commerce right at the top and you can now select whether you're gonna be selling online products or a local product. So we're gonna just go ahead and we're gonna choose the local products over here and we're gonna click on next. And here you get to choose the item location or the shop location, all right? So if you would like to, you can go ahead and choose the shop location. So this is good for advertisements with multiple shop locations. We're gonna just stick with the item location and here we can just go ahead and say next. Over here we get to upload product information. Um, we also get to connect an e-commerce platform if we would like to integrate it with an existing shop. But for this example, we are actually creating our own shop within Facebook. So we're going to upload product information right over here. So it says you can manually add your items. You can also add them in bulk and you can use a meta pixel. You can select the owner of the shop. So as you can see over here, there are two options. There's the, just two profiles. And you can see over there, underneath my name, there is a business ID and there's a number there, okay? So you may have to also enter this business ID at a later stage, but right now we can just name our catalog so we can just keep it as default. And we're gonna tap on create on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Now, as you can see, you are complete and it says view catalog. So we're just gonna go ahead, tap on view catalog, and this is where we get to manage everything. On the left hand side you have your menu such as your overview and what you can actually do with your catalog such as items, sets, data sources, events and you can run ads straight from here. On the right hand side you can see that it says data sources you can go ahead and you can add data sources and manage your catalog. So let's tap on items on the left hand side over here and once you tap on items over here you can actually add items. So up on the top right hand side we're going to tap on add items and here you can go ahead and you can create your shop from this page you are able to choose where you get your data from so if you're using a spreadsheet or a file to add and update your items you can use the data feed which is the first option you also have the partner platform which will allow you to integrate shopify or big commerce and automatically integrate those products from that store. And then if you are using your meta pixel to automatically add items from your website, you can use the very last option. Now, if you wanna know more, you can go ahead on the right hand side and you can actually read up about which option is gonna be best for you. But if you're going into data feed, for example, and you can see over here, you can choose what platform your data is formatted for. So either Google Merchant Center or Commerce Management. We're gonna keep it right over there 
you can download a template so this makes it easier you can just enter the information on the template uh, that's now if you don't have your own template or your own file that you are going to be uploading so if you're going to be choosing one of these folders you can see over here you will then use that template to add all your information and then upload this either using a link of that data sheet or you can upload it directly from your device you can just drag and drop it right over here and there you go you've set up your shop and you can now continue to add products and manage your shop you can also integrate it with other e-commerce platforms such as shopify if this was helpful you can go ahead drop us a big old thumbs up we'll see you next time folks peace out